Step 5. Count the number of additional pages needed to complete the additional fold-out panels. There should be two pages needed for every added panel. Make note of where these pages will need to be added when the InDesign document is created. For this example, we need two additional panels, one off the front cover and one off the back cover. Each panel has a front and a back or two pages, so we will need to add four additional pages to our InDesign document. I've labeled them A, B, C, and D so that I do not get them confused with the numbered pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. I always use numbers for the core of my book and letters for the additional fold-out panels. Step 6. Translate your physical dummy into a hand-drawn schematic. Start by drawing the core pages of the book the way they would look in InDesign. If you need help with this, count the number of core pages and create a new InDesign document that has facing pages turned on, and you will see that page 1 will be on the right-hand side, pages 2 and 3 will be a spread, and then page 4 will land on the left-hand side. Then you need to draw it on a piece of paper. Do not skip this step, it's important. If you try to skip making your physical dummy or drawing your schematic diagram, it will make your life harder when you get to InDesign to add the additional pages. Step seven, then add all pages needed to construct any fold-out panels to your hand-drawn layout. Use your labeled dummy to identify where the pages will go. I've labeled my extra pages A, B, C, and D on my dummy and on my hand-drawn layout. Don't try to make the InDesign layout look like the folding dummy. Simply mark where the pages go. For example, extra page A attaches to the right side of page 1 on my physical folding dummy, so I added the page to the right side of page 1 on my layout. If we go back a few slides, you can see that I looked at my dummy and I saw that page A folds to the right of page 1. So I went to my diagram and I added that I need to add a page, page A, to the outside of page 1. If we go back and look at it again, you can see that on the left side of page 2, I also need to add a page, and that'll be page B. You can see that I added it to the left side of page 2, because in my physical dummy, it folded out to the left of page 2.